so it has come to this. Good men, torn from their kin, to rage and spill the blood of other men's foes. But we will not be forgotten. shall be known, even when our bones are dust scattered on the wind. <sighs> and our names will inspire the mighty to rise. None will cross me and live. Are we mere playthings of the gods? Or do we plead divine influence to justify our foolish choices? He's taken her! He's taken my wife! You've risked the safety of Troy. Troy is my home now. You have my oath, brother. She will be returned to you. Brother, I can fight! Go. Seek shelter. There'll be plenty of fighting ahead. Helen's flight was a grave wound to Achaean pride. King Menelaus will have his revenge. And his brother will have his war with Troy, just as the gods intended. Wide-ruling Agamemnon. There is only one response to Queen Helen's abduction, and that is war. Brother, 
Your foolish passion has doomed us. Fear not, noble cousins. I stand with you. This is a grave insult to Golden Mycenae. Enlist the other Achaean kings. The folly of Paris may convince them to support the forging of a great Achaean empire. Troy thinks to slight me, but they will pay the price. Your brother Menelaus will be relying on your full support in this great endeavor. Paris of Troy must pay! Secure your power at home before embarking on overseas initiatives. The warriors of Tyrins wage war on your allies and vassals at Troizen. They dare to challenge your fame and power. Continue your expansion while ensuring the Trojans pay for their insult to you and your brother. Almighty Agamemnon, observe now your rich and bounteous lands. March northwest towards the land of Corinth, for even now the Corinthians plot your demise. King Agamemnon, heading off. Listen now as I recount tales from the turbulent youth of worthy Nestor, king of Sandy Pylos. Hearken to the tale of Nestor, son of King Neleus of Pylos. This young prince boldly deprived the duplicitous Eleans of their ill-gotten cattle. As he travels to Pylos, young Nestor is attacked by the Eleans. He must repel them and return safely to his father with his prize. Each army is commanded by a hero of magnificent strength and resilience, capable of powerful feats in battle. Ensure your hero stays close to the warriors they lead. Should your hero fall in battle, their troops will likely rout. Just watch me! An army is comprised of warriors grouped into units under a hero's command. The warriors in a unit will march, fight, flee, or die together. Death from afar! Oh, 
Waiting orders! Fall for it! It is time for the army from Pylos to move forward. With Nestor marching beside his men, instilling bravery in their hearts. A clear view of the battlefield is vital to victory. A skilled commander must be aware of the location of his forces, as well as areas where the enemy might be concealed. Take your time to look around. Here stands Nestor, son of Neleus. He is young, but has courage beyond his years, and will lead his Pylian men to victory. The Eleans will undoubtedly come from this location. Nestor and his men must march out and prepare to meet them in bloody battle. These brave warriors hail from the sandy city of Pylos. Today they will prove their mettle in their prince's cause. It is time for the army from Pylos to move forward, with Nestor marching beside his men, instilling bravery in their hearts. See how the cowardly Aeleans have mustered their courage and try to avenge Nestor's audacity. Strike them, now! Reinforcements arrive to support your army. Together, you can vanquish the foe. Chariots are mighty engines of war that can unleash devastating charges, grinding the foe under their wheels. Ensure you keep them moving to avoid being pinned down by spearmen or missile troops. Crushed by the onslaught of blameless Nestor and his men, the Aeleans flee the battlefield in shame. Their vengeance must wait for another day.
In time, your own feats may eclipse the ones of young Nestor, mighty Agamemnon, wide ruling lord. Your future holds many bloody battles. It would be prudent to recruit more warriors to join your armies. King Agamemnon. Done. The call of Ares has been heard. These brave men will serve you well. However, while you await their arrival, your army will be unable to move. You have resolved all immediate and pressing matters, O oh illustrious Agamemnon. There are Corinthian enemies nearby, almighty king. In the name of ancient Mycenae, you must crush them. Using your newly mustered troops, attack the Corinthians. Strike them down and instill fear in their hearts. Victory awaits us. Your army will soon face the Corinthians in open battle. Have no fear. Athena watches over you. Your warriors stand ready to serve. They only await your orders. Take care in deploying your troops. Consider which formation will be most advantageous and position your warriors accordingly. Your heroes all have their own unique skills and advantages. Pay close regard to these attributes and let them stoke their rage, ready to unleash their abilities on the enemy.
death comes from above, like the arrows of Apollo. Have your warriors take cover from the enemy missiles, or else seek out and destroy the cause of this threat. Your hero is under attack. break like reeds before the storm, as they flee. Victory is close enough to taste. The enemy chose their leader poorly. See them run from battle with the laughter of the gods ringing in their ears. Now is the time to press home your attack. You have clay, you are triumphant. Now you must decide the fate of the captives taken in battle. You may punish them for taking up arms against you, or choose the path of mercy instead.
A natural progression. <laughs>